Good morning to you all and welcome for the word of God and the reflection today. So we are in the second week of the ordinary time, uh, Wednesday. So let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a man there who had a withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. He said to the man with the withered hand, Come up here before us. Then he said to the Pharisees, Is it lawful to, to do good? on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it. But they remained silent, looking around at them with anger and grieved at their hardness of heart. Jesus said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, you know the scribes and the Pharisees were so blinded. They were so blinded with their illegalism and that they failed to do, uh, failed to see the good that Jesus would do. Instead, they were trying to find fault in Jesus. Nevertheless, Jesus healed the man with a withered hand. He was unafraid of what the Pharisees would think. While doing good, his concern was the well-being of the people. He was not worried about what people would think or comment about him. Nothing, nothing stopped Jesus from doing good. The brothers and sisters, at times, like Pharisees, we too get blinded. We too get blinded to the goodness in others. Instead, we see only the weakness of others. Life is like a garden. Life is like a garden. We have beautiful flowers as well as unwanted weeds growing together. What we choose to see depends upon us. Every person has both the brighter as well as the darker side. And what we see in others depends upon what we look in them. If you look for good, we will find good. If you look for bad, we will always find bad. It's better to have eyes, eyes that are blind, which are unable to see the defects of others rather than having a mind that is blind to see the good in others. Because a mind that is blind is always unkind. So dear brothers and sisters, see the bad inside yourself and see the good inside others. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, in your, in your victory over sin and death on the cross and in your resurrection, you give us the assurances of, assurance of a sharing in the eternal rest of heaven. Transform my heart with your love that I may freely serve my neighbor for his good and find joy a refreshment in the celebration of Sunday as a Lord's Day. Let us surrender all our intentions to our Blessed Mother, praying, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed are Emma women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, Amen. 
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God loves you. Keep smiling.